Hey, it's Jens. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a DIY flash diffuser setup with a crucial upgrade for under 5 euro. Let's go! The only thing you need for this flash flash diffuser setup is actually one or two folders made of plastic or any a little thicker sheet of plastic. If you don't have a white one that's actually no problem you can just glue some white paper to it and then use this for your diffuser. There are ready to use flash diffuser setups on the internet like this one which costs over 100 euro. Those work really good but is it worth spending 100 euro when you can do it by yourself? The diffuser setup I'm using consists of three parts. The diffuser, the rooftop, which is not topic of today's video, you can just leave it out. Then you just need a little bit more flash power, but the results will be very similar. And the upgrade part on the bottom. The first part is just a cone like this. As you can see here, I have taped white paper to a sheet of plastic and fixed everything with the rubber bands. So it's very easy to mount this to the top of your lens. So here is the basic idea how to cut out the shape and then mount it to the top of your lens. This works great, but when we do macro photography with a very short focusing distance, there's like an issue that we just cannot really illuminate the scene from the bottom. When we shoot with a 90 millimeter at one to one, this is actually no issue at all. But when we use higher magnification and very short focusing distance use extension tubes, the lower parts of the inside may remain dark and that's why this new setup is very helpful because this little tool here bounces the light from the bottom back so the insect can be illuminated from the top with the diffuser and the bottom parts with the new reflector shield. You may have noticed that I have taped aluminium foil to the reflector shield then yeah, of course the light is a little more harsh but at the end the result with aluminium foil is a little better as more light bounces back. One issue using a setup like this is that the new reflector shield may touch leaves or branches where the insect is sitting on and ruins the whole scene. So I have also covered this with rubber bands so it is very flexible, I can pull it down and I can also adjust the position. Okay, now let's see how the new reflector is actually built. So I'm just dismounting the rooftop and here we have the Pope shield, which can be replaced by the DIY version we've just seen. And also the Raynox. And here we have the new reflector. It is mounted with rubber bands. And yeah, it can be pulled down, it can be easily adjusted by moving the rubber band along the lens. And now let's have a look on the shape. Basically, it's just a sheet of plastic with aluminium foil. We need this half circle, which then is attached to the lens, stamped two holes for the rubber bands, and just cut out a shape like this on a standard A4 paper. Now we just have to put the lens through the rubber bands and we use the surface for the fusion from the bottom. I hope you think that this video was helpful. Adding this sheet of plastic to your diffusion setup can really make a difference. If you want to see more macro photography related content, don't forget to subscribe for weekly updates and like the video. Any questions, leave a comment below and I'm gonna help you with your diffuser setup. Thanks for watching, have a good day and hopefully see you in the next.